Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my video. I'm really excited for two reasons. Number one, to finally get this YouTube channel off the ground. I've been trying to do it for the longest time. Honestly, I've been talking about it for roughly five months, but I'm finally able to launch it now. Secondly, to share with you this project that I've been working really hard on. This is my very high-end gaming PC 2020. This is a hard tubing water-cooled build. There's a hell of a lot going on inside of this build. So let's take a look and see what's inside of it. This project I've been working on for about two months. When I first started it, I honestly felt like I was gonna be able to finish it in a couple of weeks. It wasn't the case. What I found was that no matter how many times I felt I had enough parts to finish my water cool build, which was mainly the fittings, I found that I needed to go back and get more and more parts, and that really delayed me. Let's talk about the components I've got powering this machine. I've got some really high-end stuff in here. So if we're looking at the CPU, I'm running an AMD 3950X. It's an absolute beast of a CPU, and so far in my benchmarking, it's really serving me really well. Second thing I've got going on, as you can probably see, is I have not one, but I've got two graphics cards, two GeForce RTX 2080s. Not only are they 2080s, but they're also water-cooled, and I have them overclocked. So I'm getting a lot more performance from them than I would be if they were regular stock or fan versions of the 2080 cards. So with that being said, I've got really high benchmarks for those as well, which I'm going to be showing you towards the end of the video. What you've probably also noticed as well is I've got not one, but I've got two 48 centimeter radiators and I'm running eight fans. So the cooling is absolutely fantastic and it just really looks nice with the build. I really wanted to have something that would stand out, be practical, be ambitious and also do a great job of cooling and keeping my parts cool because I really wanted to overclock this rig with the layout and the way that this build has turned out. I'm able to do that. So as I said guys, this project here took me around two months time to build. It cost me in excess of $6,000 US. And on top of that, I was really scratching my head and just making it up as I was going along in terms of forming the build. All right guys, so this is the final build. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Let's go through the parts individually and really talk about what's going into this machine. And let's start with the CPU. This is an AMD 3950X. Now I really wanted to go all out in this machine and I wanted to get a build that pretty stand out. The reviews are really good. It was a really high end CPU, really good benchmarks. So I wanted that to power this machine. Now I also have here, I've got an EK quantum velocity water block. If we move a little bit right to the RAM, we've got some G-Skill Royale RAM. I've got 32 gigs of RAM here. I think it's mainly for the aesthetics. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can have no RGB on and it just looks like, in my case, uh, these crystal silver dims. So moving on to the actual motherboard that I have to power this whole machine. I've got an MSI MEG X570 Unify. This is an AM AMD AM4 PCIe Gen 4 motherboard. This houses everything beautifully. It doesn't have built-in RGB, but as you can see, I've got a ton of RGB in this build, so I'm really fine not having any more RGB to go with it. So coming down to the GPUs, I've got two GeForce RTX 2080s. Not only that, but as you can see, they are both fully water-cooled. So I'm able to overclock them way much more than I would be if they were based on fans. I'm really impressed with how they look in the build in terms of the design. 
Now, as you can see here, I've got the EVGA NV-Link bridge. The NV-Link bridge is giving me a lot more bandwidth than traditional SLI. And because of that, I'm seeing scaling in games that do support SLI to be a lot better than it would be with just traditional SLI. NV-Link is definitely the way to go if you have 2080 Ti series of cards. As you can see, we've got two huge radiators which are behind the fans these are two 48 centimeter radiators i've also got four fans on each side of the radiator having two big radiators in my loop really helps to keep the pc cool i really wanted to be able to overclock my gpu and my cpu so far that it's almost like i'd have more powerful cards when i started this off i had no idea how i was going to do this loop i literally just sat down there i had a pen and a pad it was almost like I was going to write out a rap. I was just winging it, and I just kind of went along until I thought it looked good. In addition to that, I've got a lot of fittings. In terms of fittings, I paid over $600. One of my favorite things about this whole build, something I had to customize, was the installation of this PSU. It's a Thor 1200, got the wattage, which is showing right there. And that's really awesome because it lets me know how much wattage is going through my PC at any one time. It's just a really nice touch, which adds to it. Talking about nice touch, let's look at another nice touch. This is my stat screen. Now I just got a small HDMI screen and I've got a HDMI cable, which is connected to it and some power that's connected to it. So at the moment I've got my GPU temperature, I've got my CPU temperature. It's just a nice additional touch, which I added to it. All right, so coming over to here, I have a thermal take dp100 d5 plus distro plate now this plate lights up and it goes to a couple of colors the coolant that i've got inside my machine it's a really nice kind of like creamy white color i didn't want to take away from that and i don't have that lit up i felt like 2020 was the year where distro plates were really becoming mainstream i just think it adds to the look of the whole machine all right so we spoke about quite a few components that we've got running through this machine not everything but quite a few things what i haven't told you guys is the case now this case is a thermal take core p7 if you're into pc hardware if you're into pc building and you want a really big case this is the way to go now at the time of shooting this video at 2020 halfway through the year this case is going to be hard to find mainly because of the hardware shortage because of covid also because the case came out i'm not sure if it was in 2019 or 2018 but it's definitely been out for a little bit of time now i got this on ebay for around 200 bucks but if you are looking for this case now you're probably going to be looking to pay a lot more money than that that being said it's a big case and it housed this build like a pro it's an open build case if you look at the sides they kind of tilt diagonally now folks ask me all the time how does it work out with dust my cpu doesn't use fans my gpu doesn't use fans because of that there's not a lot of build up in those key areas you do get some dust in other areas after a couple of months time but it's really not that bad Let's look at the hard tubing in this build. If we use this as a starting point, at this radiator, we're taking in the water. It's coming down, it's going around, it's going into this reservoir. It then comes up into GPU one, into GPU two, comes down, it goes around from the distro plate, it goes down, goes around into this second radiator. Obviously it cools in this radiator, comes back into this reservoir, and makes its way around to the CPU. This is the full loop. This loop took me ages, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I really didn't know how I was gonna approach it. As with a lot of PC building, I think sometimes you just need to feel it out, put a lot of TLC into it, have some trial and error. You probably get a really good result if you really, really wanna push it.
hey guys i just want to thank you so much for getting to the end of my youtube video if you did like this video please go ahead and give me a like because i need your like and if you want to be even more generous please go ahead and hit that subscription button i'm gonna have videos coming thick and fast tech also my lifestyle so if that's something that you want to see i would love to have you god bless you and i'll see you in the next video